everyone, and thanks for sticking around. We are joined now by Tim Slater from the University of Wyoming. He's the chair of science education. Thank you so much for joining us this Absolutely. Morning. Good morning to you. Oh, good morning to you. And perfect timing, too, because today we're talking about this deal that's happening behind us. Uh, we can't see it. This is just green. But you guys can see it. The super blue blood moon. The so super blue blood moon. It, it's a mouthful to say, but tell us a bit about what exactly it is. Well, the super blue blood moon is a long name for a very complicated thing that's happening in the skies right now. This visible here in Wyoming, it behind the clouds. It's still going on. We just can't see it right now. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So what exactly has to line up for this to happen? Well, a bunch of things. So you may remember back in August, there was a lot of excitement because the moon covered up the sun and we couldn't see the sun. Right. Well, we're having exactly the opposite thing happening six months later, oh where the moon, which is normally bright because the sun shines on it, the sunlight is being blocked by the earth. And so the moon is disappearing quite literally. Wow. Now, I mean, you would think Blue moon, blood moon, those two wouldn't go together. So why, why are we combining those names? Well, they sure don't go together at all. Because uh, during a lunar eclipse, when the moon is being uh, blocked, the moon's light is being blocked by the Earth, what's happening is it looks red in color. And the reason it looks red is because Earth's atmosphere takes sunlight that's hitting the daytime side of the Earth, bending that around the Earth, around the Earth and only the red light makes that tra trip. Wow. So the moon should look red in color. Uh -huh. So. That's why we call it a red moon or a blood moon, very traditional. It happens about twice a year somewhere on the Earth. We can see these blood moons occurring. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the, the blue part of it, what is that? Uh, that's totally blue. different, right? Right. So um, every full moon has a name. For example, the full moon that occurs in the month of January, we call the wolf moon. Okay. The full moon that occurs in December, we call the yule moon. Uh, the full moon that occurs in June, we call the honeymoon. Okay. So people take a vacation, call the honeymoon. I like moon's, that. The moon's kind of yellow in color. So every month, that, that full moon has a name. But sometimes, about every two and a half years, there are two full moons in a month. What do you call that second moon? Because it doesn't have a name. So we call it a blue moon. Oh my goodness. Wow. And you know, all of these are kind of combining in sync at once. And you were telling me before we came back on air, this doesn't happen a lot, right? This not all these, blood moon. These stu not all these things coming together. Because the third thing that's happening right now is we've got a super moon going on. Wow. Now, this is crazy. So as the moon goes around the Earth, and it takes about 29 and a half days to do that, we call it a moon, the 29 and a half days. A moon. A I moon. Like we call it a moon. Um, as the moon goes around the Earth, sometimes it's not a perfect circle. It's sometimes it's closer to the Earth, and sometimes it's farther away from the Earth. And when it's closer to the Earth, it looks a little bit bigger in the sky. No, not a lot bigger, about 15% right. bigger, um, but it looks a little bit bigger. What's particularly important about this, though, is that when you get that giant moon in the sky that's closer to the Earth, the gravity between the Earth and the moon causes all kinds of crazy things to happen on the Earth, in particular, larger tides. So if you live close to the coast, right now you're experiencing really big tide changes. Wow. And now, you know, you and I were talking about it. What, what was the best spot on Earth to see this? Well, I think the best spot to see it right now would be in Hawaii. It's about 3.30 in the morning in Hawaii right now. The moon would be right up straight overhead. You can see, you know, the ocean would be, be there. You can hear the waves. You can see the shining of the red moon on the, on the ocean. I think that would be the place to be. It's not as pretty as Wyoming, but it's right. sure a lot warmer. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then last question. When When's the next time we're going to see this, in case we know how to stick around for it? Well, if you want to be right here in Casper, and I can't guarantee it's clear skies, but 153 years from now, it will happen again where we'll get the super moon that will also be the second full moon in a month that will also be eclipsed by the, by the Earth. All right. So. All right, so 153 years from now, everybody, let's just freeze ourselves in our time capsules, and then uh, we can go forward in time and watch that. Tim Slater, thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. this morning. I appreciate it. We'll be right back.